Eating disorders are complex biological and psychological illnesses that require complex biological and psychological treatments. And there are 30 million Americans with an eating disorder who That's need huge. help. It's huge, and it's actually, it's probably one of the most prevalent illnesses that we have. Yeah, you know, overall. Despite that, Dr. Craig Johnson, the chief science officer at Eating Recovery Center, says the amount of federal funding for research into eating disorders is insignificant. Unfortunately, research funding, you know, in the field of eating disorders would be about $32 million this year from the National Institute of Health. Funding for schizophrenia will be in the $250 million range. That's about an eight-fold difference. And the funding for other mental disorders like autism and Alzheimer's disease is disproportionate when considering the number of people affected by eating disorders. Part of the reason that we developed the foundation was to begin to be able to try to fund particularly young investigators because it's the young investigators that actually need the funding, the seed money, if you will, to be able to uh, experiment with novel treatments. We've got good treatments, but we don't have enough good treatments. Dr. Jocelyn Lebo with the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota is the Eating Recovery Foundation's first early career research recipient. But our best treatments help about 50% of people, maybe a, a little bit more. Um, for bulimia, that's for sure true, and for, for binge eating. Um, so that's just, that's not enough. Over the next two years, Dr. Lebo will look into how best to effectively treat adolescents with eating disorders. More than 90% of people who have an eating disorder are between 18 and 25. Dr. Lebo will start by applying a therapy which has shown to be effective in adults, but never tried with teenagers. This is a new psychotherapy. She will be essentially trying to test it in outpatient clinics uh, around the country, and we're hoping then that she'll be able to uh, increase her funding to do more sophisticated research. This will be the key to at least a big chunk of that other 50% that, that aren't responding to what we've got. And it's all because of the commitment of the Eating Recovery Foundation.